Hello, it is Tuesday the 17th of August and I am restarting some Spanish classes and I thought why not take you along with me for my first week. <sighs> Essentially, what happened is I found a video on YouTube of a guy who was talking about his experience of learning Spanish from zero to hour-long conversations in a year and all the things he did and it kind of just made me feel guilty for not having practiced more lately. I've been practicing a little bit here and there, making my TikToks in Spanish. If you've seen the last two videos where we talked about the locals opinions of Uruguay then you've obviously seen that I have been making TikToks and speaking in Spanish for those but other than that I haven't been practicing too much unless we go out to the shops and things along those lines but it tends to be the same conversations over and over again you know I want this um you know a few meters of that fabric you know all the things that I use regularly I've just been repeating which is good for committing things to memory but I haven't been really expanding on my vocabulary or doing anything too outrageous lately so I've set up three lessons this week on italki I think is what it's called or preply but essentially I have three online classes they're hour-long conversations with Spanish teachers so they're three different teachers i have one booked for today one that was supposed to be booked for saturday this has been but i've had to reschedule that so i don't know when i'm going to do that yet sometime later this week and then a third one as well two of the teachers are from argentina and the other one is from uruguay and the good thing about the website i looked on is you can search based on country because i personally am not interested in learning spain spanish because i live in uruguay and uruguayan and argentinian spanish are very similar way more similar than anywhere else in the world and it is significantly different than spain spanish or even mexican spanish so i'm not too interested in learning that just yet maybe one day but for now i just want to really nail uruguayan spanish so i've really been thinking about my goals what i want to do and by christmas time i want to be able to have long conversations so that when we actually finally see alejandro's family again when i'm vaccinated hopefully and covid is better i can actually talk to these people and not feel like a two-year-old so that's my plan for today i'm probably not going to film too much of the actual sessions themselves because that is like someone's professional job so i'll just film the little bits of me talking and you know add them in here and there but i will do a little bit of a review of how the website works what i think of my teachers i like to pick three different ones because it is just a trial run and then when i find someone i like i will continue going with them so yeah that's my intro let's get some spanish vamos a mi clase mi clase necesito ir mi clase let's get started my lesson is officially in one minute so i better log on Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Ah, bien, ¿y tú? Bien, muy bien. ¿Cómo pronuncio tu nombre? Uh, ¿Madi? Sí, Madi. En Madi. Uruguay nadie que es, es... Siempre... Oh, no sé. They always get my name wrong when I say it out loud. Sí. <laughs> ¿Estás viviendo en Uruguay ahora? Sí. ¿Hace cuánto tiempo...? vivís en Uruguay? Mm, casi un año, pero todos cuando la pandemia y es no es un buen tiempo. Buen tiempo. Mm, sí, entiendo. ¿Y por qué estás ahí? Mm, uh, mm, me mudé a Uruguay um, porque mi esposo es medio uruguayo su madre es uruguaya. ¿Y estás haciendo deporte actualmente? Ah, no mucho. Uh, sí. En Australia sí, pero um, el deporte no existe acá. Es um, netball. Es un deporte de, um, de Inglaterra, creo que. Ah. Y no existe en Sudamérica o en um, Estados Unidos es casi um, basketball 
Basquetas, I don't know okay. qué es en español. Sí. Um, sí, basket en español. Sí. sí. Okay, so I am officially finished my first class. This is a little chat, so it kind of just works, I guess, like a Zoom class. I really liked Lucia, Lucia, by the way. Um, but there was this audio. Padres Julia y Manuel. Mi época favorita del año es el verano. One of the little exercises was this audio class, and it was really helpful because that's what I needed to practice with. Is I while listening to it, she wanted me to type out what was being said in the video. <laughs> and it's so interesting because I'd be typing something out and then I'd miss like four words in between and then I'd just type out the next part I heard and that's kind of how my brain works in conversations is I can understand all the individual words and kind of follow along with the, the train of the conversation. But as far as actually like recalling what was said specifically, I got no clue because my brain is trying to work so fast to keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up that I miss all the middle things. And at the end of the conversation, I can kind of, I know the point of the story or I can kind of guess the rest of the filler words. But as far as actually being able to comprehend them at that natural speaking pace, absolutely not. But she said I did good, so I don't know if that's just to encourage me to do another class with her or not. I will. I liked her and I think I think it's good to at least do a few classes with the same teacher so that you don't have to keep repeating yourself because when every time you do a new like meet a new teacher, you're going to have to do the same initial class again like, "All right, where are you from? What are your goals? Um what's your family like? What's your situation?" blah blah blah. blah. You know, it's kind of the same stuff over and over again. But I did the whole class in Spanish, bar like a few words here and there. And so that was good practice just to kind of force myself to use, use as many words as I can. That's what I really focused on this time because in the past I would just kind of stop and then ask my questions in English instead. But this time I tried to make sure that I was using, I was still using Spanish even if it wasn't perfect Spanish. I would just use the vocabulary I did have and kind of try to talk my way around the problem I was having just by filling it in with different words that kind of meant similar things. So I got there in the end. I will just quickly check. So that was with Lucia B. I can try to link these people down below because that's the whole point is that you can do classes like this from anywhere in the world. I'm obviously doing fairly local ones. I, I mean, this Lu Lucia was from Argentina. Okay, so my next schedule lesson is Thursday again at 10 a.m. with Jimena. I think she might be the Uruguayan one. And then my other class was with Sol. I don't know how you'd say that. And that is, well, I have to reschedule that. So, oh, Lucia, hers was only priced at $6 per hour. And for $6, she was great. She looked pretty young. I didn't actually ask her how old she was, but. I, yeah, for $6 an hour, 100% worth it. Jimena's class is $8 an hour, and the third one, Sol, will be $10 an hour. So you can get classes for a lot more expensive than that, but what I heard in the video I watched the other day that introduced me to this site is that the price of the class does not necessarily dictate the, the quality of the teacher. You could pay $25 a class and or $25 an hour, for example, and not have a good experience, or you could pay $5 an hour and have a great experience. So I specifically picked people who I thought were around my age. Maybe we'd have some things in common, be able to, you know, come up with more natural conversations rather than trying to talk to someone who's much older and doesn't like the same things as me. I would rather speak to someone who looks like someone I would actually hang out with. And also the fact that they were much cheaper is another bonus. So I'm going to do a few more classes with her and see how we go. But I definitely needed that. Necesito esta clase mucho porque si puedo hablar español, pero no es fácil. Y, en, y cuando hablar con otros person, otras personas, otras personas, I get lost in my head and... It's mostly a confidence thing. I'm aware of that, but that doesn't mean that the problem just disappears. So I think I just need to practice. And para mí es mucho más fácil practicar con una persona 
cual es un maestra que una persona en mi familia con well, Alejandro's who's Alejandro's family for example like his sister who is currently in Madrid she's actually a qualified language I think teacher but she has like degrees in Spanish same thing obviously his mother is a native Spanish speaker but I don't know what it is and they sometimes watch these videos so hello if you're watching this but I just it's just harder for me to talk to someone that I know in Spanish because I don't know I guess in my head I'm thinking they're gonna like think weird it's it's silly I know it's silly but I'd rather speak to a stranger than to someone who I know maybe you can relate to that maybe you can't maybe you just think I'm crazy but that's my experience that was day one class one <coughs> let's move on okay I just want to show you this quickly the screen recording function has been glitching lately so I'm just going to show you this way so it shows me on the website so my next lesson is Thursday and who the teacher is so you can enter the classroom but then you just have to kind of wait and then it gives you a little learning progress so you have to do a little quiz to kind of say like what your goals are so I said obviously that I want to like what level I want to get to I think I selected yet yeah, proficient level C by like December this year but to do that I'm gonna to need to do a lot of learning and it says I should do five classes a week and I've only done one and I'm gonna do three but not five so how it works is you buy one hour trials with each of your teachers but then if you want to buy further hours you can either do 20 hours 12 hours or six six is at whatever the rate that they set is at 12 or 24 you do get a discount but i'm gonna just, just stick with six i'm gonna buy six more hours with lucia and see how it goes so for 36 dollars, that's pretty good considering the classes i was taking at the uruguayan school were 20 dollars an hour and they were online as well so i'd rather i'd much rather pay six dollars an hour than 20. I'd, I'd literally pay her more than that but this is what it's asking and maybe we'll work out something else later on all right i was a little, like two minutes late to my class so hopefully She's still here. Okay, it is Thursday morning. I slept in a little today, so I didn't get out of bed until like nine, which is pretty late for me. And my class was scheduled for 10. We wanted to take Nacho for a walk. So I went with Alejandro with Nacho down to the beach, but I knew that I'd have to leave early to come back and do my class. And so it gets to the exact right time. I've got it all planned out. I pretty much like walk, run home to make it back on time, get in at exactly 10 o'clock. I'm logged in by 10.01 or 10.02, so technically I am two minutes late, but my teacher, Jimena, still hasn't joined, so it's a little bit disappointing. I mean, things happen. It might just be um, like a fluke, but out of the three lessons I scheduled, one of them, yeah, she rescheduled or attempted to reschedule the night before, so that was supposed to be the Saturday that's just gone before I started filming this video, and on Friday night, she sent me a message that I didn't see until Saturday morning saying could we reschedule for another day and now he met him i mean maybe something like serious has happened and that's why she's not on or maybe she's just forgotten it's hard to know with things like this so i'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt and see but she's 10 minutes late at this point so maybe she's just not coming i don't know if your teacher doesn't show up you can just like get a refund for the class so it's not a big deal okay i was just ready to give up but it looks like she's replied now so i guess i'm doing my class after all which means I have to swap over, which looks ridiculous because I'm currently sat at my MacBook or at our MacBook Pro, but I have my old MacBook Air next to me, and that's the only one that's logged into Skype or even has Skype downloaded. So I have to swap from the nice laptop to the old laptop and do my class there. Alright, here we go. Hola. Oh, it's mine. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Um, bien, ¿y tú? Quiero pedir disculpas por la demora. Oh, no, no, no te preocupes. Mil disculpas. Hoy la verdad que 
hablar un poquito de vos? <risa> mm. uh, soy Mary, uh, soy de Australia, uh, vivo en Montevideo, Uruguay, uh, um, con mi esposo Alejandro, pero mi español es... necesito practicar. Um, y... ¿Qué más? Uh, por el COVID sí. se hizo más difícil todo. Sí, todo es, es diferente. Mm, marzo el año pasado, um, dos semanas antes <ríe> COVID. So, es muy, muy malo um, tiempo. ¿Y tu marido es uruguayo? Me, medio uruguayo. Sí, pero su padre es de Sudáfrica y su madre es uruguaya. Pero el año pasado viven en, en Sudáfrica, pero ahora ellos en Madrid. Ok, class number two is done. Turns out it might have just been the app. I mean, she said that sometimes the, the preply, like, platform just kind of glitches and then when I was on my Skype on the other laptop it just signed me out I think five times like I'd be mid sentence or mid word and it would just sign me out and then I have to re-sign in and so that was just really annoying but otherwise other than the technical issues I enjoyed it I think it was a little more maybe not harder but just different than the one the other day I feel like that conversation was maybe easier but this time we didn't do so much of like the okay where are you from like what you know do you like the country blah 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 all that kind of thing and that's the kind of topics that I've rehearsed a bit more I guess so it's just easier for me to talk but I like that she is Uruguayan and so we're going to try and I'm going to set up some more classes with her as well and maybe like set up some like try to stick to like demas demas like specific themes for the classes for example I said I'd like to know more about just like Uruguay in general um for example like lugares like places to visit because we haven't really gotten out and traveled that much yet so hopefully very soon you'll be seeing a video that's going to change all of that but yeah so second class done Okay, it is Friday morning. It is like 9.35, which means my class is in 25 minutes. This one will be another one on Skype. So I'm actually sitting down now to set up Skype on the new laptop on a MacBook Pro because yesterday the camera on the other laptop is obviously way worse. It's like a 2016 MacBook Air. And I don't want to complain too much because it's not like the camera quality doesn't really matter. It's about the conversation but it just was throwing me off every time I looked at my own picture and it was like completely blown out or you couldn't even see me and it was it was not ideal it's honestly a good thing that I had set these up ahead of time because this morning I just sat down did a little bit of meditation wrote out what I had to do for the day and I've got a lot that I want to get done today because yesterday was not a particularly productive day I spent most of it just doing like load after load of laundry which is not an ideal use of my time I've got a lot to do today and because of that I probably wouldn't I wouldn't take the time to do a Spanish class or to practice much Spanish today I would just kind of throw myself into my work and get everything I needed to be done done so it's kind of annoying I have this class this morning I don't really want to do it but I know it's good for me in the long run I feel like if I have them scheduled ahead of time, then I'm way more likely to actually, you know, do it because I've paid for the class, it's scheduled in, there's someone else waiting for me. But if I just tell myself, oh, tomorrow I'll do an hour, um, history would suggest that tomorrow I probably will not do an hour of Spanish. So if I have my classes set in place, then I kind of have to do them. Or else I don't have to. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but I'm not really looking to waste money right now. Here we go again. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, también. Sí. ¿Qué tal? Contame de vos. 
¿De, de dónde sos? Mm, uh, soy de Australia, uh, pero vivo en Uruguay ahora con mi esposo. Um, él es medio uruguayo, pero ya. Yeah. Um, ah. Sí. <laughs> ¿Y extrañas Australia o no? Um, ¿Perdón? ¿Extrañas tu país o no? Oh, sí. Um, um, mi familia um, y también, pero ahora... Sí, cuando me mudé acá, um, el, you know, no pandemia y creo que viajar a Australia y volver, pero <ríe> no, no puedo. ¿Y cuál es tu ocupación? ¿Trabajas? ¿Qué haces? Um, mm, mi, uh, mi trabajo es un, uh, con uh, redes sociales. ¿Redes sociales? Sí, <laughs> con like, YouTube y otras cosas. Sí, no simplemente sé. te gustaría conversar un poco, ir como uh, sí, conversando. Sí. Um, sí, no, no tema es especial, solo necesito practicar. Alright, my class is over. I'm going to just leave it at that for now. I might do a little update tomorrow when I've had a bit more time to process. Think about what I liked about each of the teachers. I maybe booked a few more classes. I will then come back and do a little closing to this video. But I hope you enjoyed this. I try not to film too much of the classes because I want to maybe in the future do a video where I, I've seen a few people who record the whole lesson. Maybe that would be fun to do in the future. But of course with the... Um, the other person's consent. I don't want to just film people and put them on the internet without asking them first, of course, because privacy. But y'all yeah, check in tomorrow and let you know my final thoughts on my little week of online Spanish classes. <laughs> okay, I'm finally back to finish off this video. It's been about a week and I have actually dyed my hair. But back to the point of the story, I just wanted to say that I finally scheduled my classes. And this just goes to the point that I was saying before my third class is that if I don't schedule them immediately then it's very easy to just put off and be like oh I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow and then a week went by and I didn't do any classes even though I already paid for six more hours so I now have four hours scheduled two for next week and then two for the week after that with the first teacher I haven't bought any classes with the other teachers yet not because I don't like the teachers but more because I'm trying to save money right now so yeah that's my little takeaway from this I do think that each teacher had a very different style. I liked Lucia because she, even on our first session, came prepared with um, like tasks to do, like the audio activity and then also the PowerPoint. So that was good and it meant that I could practice over listening to that audio in the meantime. And I have listened to it a few times trying to just make sure I'm keeping up with all the words as they're happening. So that was good. Also, she was the cheapest and I don't think the fact that she was almost half the cost of Sol meant that her class was half as effective. They all talked about different things and I think that is good to have variety. So I'm definitely going to book more <laughs> so I'm definitely going to book more classes with each of them. But um, yeah I do wish that there was the option on the website to book three hours with a teacher because I don't know if I'm gonna want to do like long term classes with all of these people or if I want to try it new teachers but yeah it's kind of hard to tell after just one hour if you like the person's teaching style or not but that's my takeaway from this whole experience if you have any questions comment down below i can try to link well i'll definitely link the website and i'll try to link these specific teachers i contacted down below but depending on what variation of spanish you want to learn then you might need to find different teachers so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed comment down below what you want us to do next on this channel and i'll see you very soon bye hello welcome back to our channel welcome to another video today we're just sitting down to talk again about the good things about uruguay and the not so good things but instead of just sitting here as i guess newbies in the country and telling you our opinions i thought it would be interesting to ask some local 